What's going on everyone? Joshua for Love of Games. A couple of weeks ago, I published a couple of videos highlighting some of the struggles that I was having with the Oculus Link on an AMD GPU. And it turns out that we just had a bad GPU driver that was giving us the issue the entire time. And in that video, I even showed you the correct driver to install so that way you can get your Oculus Link working with your AMD GPU. But that is the old way of doing things. Hooking up an Oculus Link cable from your Oculus Quest to your PC in order to play PC VR games is a thing of the past. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how we can use virtual desktop to stream your PC VR games to your Oculus Quest headset. So without further ado, let's pull up a chair, sit back and relax, and let me show you how to install a virtual desktop onto your Oculus Quest. Let's go. So we're going to start off here on the desktop today because one of the first things we have to do is we have to download the virtual desktop streaming app onto your PC. And you can do that by going to vrdesktop.net and clicking on the download streamer app button in the middle of the page. After you do that, you can go ahead and click on the file you just downloaded and click on yes to actually open up the installer. Once the installer is opened up, click on next, point it to the directory you want it to go to and click on next once again. After that, click on install and virtual desktop streaming app will start installing onto your PC. I will have a link to this website down in my description below so that way you guys can get to it much more easily. But after virtual desktop is done installing, you can go ahead and just click on finish and launch the virtual desktop streamer. Next, we have to install the virtual desktop app onto the Oculus Quest itself. So go ahead and put on your Oculus Quest and head over to the store tab on the bottom navigation bar and then head up to the upper right hand corner and to the search field and type in virtual desktop. Once Virtual Desktop pops up, you can go ahead and click on Install. And I do believe this is a paid app that costs $19.99. So that is a little bit of a caveat that I'm going to throw in here. It is not a free app, but it is well worth the $20 that you're going to spend on the app. After you get the Virtual Desktop app installed onto the Oculus Quest, we can head back over to the desktop and finish up the last few steps that we have to do in order to start streaming using Virtual Desktop. All right, so here we are back in the desktop. And now that we have the virtual desktop app installed on our Oculus Quest, and we also have the virtual desktop streaming app installed on our PC, there is still one more very important step that we have to take in order for our PC to communicate with the Oculus Quest and start streaming to it. And that is the Oculus username. So whatever username you use to set up your Oculus Quest is what you're gonna put into this field. And how you do that is you click on change and then put in that username right in this top box. After you do that, you click on save and now we are ready for our PC to communicate with the Oculus Quest and we can start streaming our PC VR games to the Quest. So let's go ahead and go check that out right now. But before we do that, I want to mention one more very important thing. In order to get the best possible stream from your PC to the Oculus Quest, it is highly recommended that you connect your PC to a wireless router via an Ethernet cable and then connect the Oculus Quest to a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection. This will help ensure that you get the maximum possible bandwidth from your PC to the router and then from there to the Oculus Quest. What this is going to do, it's going to help improve latency and actually improve visual fidelity inside of the headset. And now that I have all that out of the way, let's see how all this just comes together. So here we are inside of the Oculus Quest and in order to launch Virtual Desktop, it's as simple as going down to the apps and clicking on Virtual Desktop. You will then be greeted with this little logon screen here, which should connect to your PC straight away if both usernames are correct in both the streaming app and on the Oculus Quest. And as you can see, mine are and I am connected to my PC. I am streaming from the Oculus Quest to the PC in order to capture this footage. So there may be a little latency, but we're going to see how it actually plays out. If you go down to the settings here, we can see all the settings that we're at. I'm at medium environment quality. I'm at a frame rate of 90 frames per second, and I have my bit rate set to 32 megabytes a second. I am also on a five gigahertz, 1200 megabytes per second. So those settings should be pretty good for me. Now, if we go down to the game section here, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your Steam is actually running in the background, just so we can populate this stuff. And we can see all of our installed games on our Steam VR library. So we're gonna go ahead and launch Half-Life Alex and check that out and see how the latency is uh, with that game inside of virtual desktop. So here we are inside of Half-Life Alex, and as you can see, we are completely wireless. We are streaming this from the PC to the Oculus headset, and it actually looks really good. It actually looks like and feels like I'm actually tethered as far as fidelity goes, and latency, 
it's there, but it's not bad. Even when pulling the trigger on the gun, it is pretty much spot on. Let's uh, explore a little bit and see how this actually plays. Without hitting the microphone, pull that board off. Pull that board off. Pull that board off. <laughs> All right, and we are inside the building. Even the texture on the rows, so the uh, spores here, they actually look really good inside the headset. I'm not going to lie. And this is captured directly from a cast off of my Oculus Quest 2 to the PC. So it might be a slight bit of latency, but it's, it's not relevant inside of the headset. It's not uh, apparent in the headset. I mean, there, like I said, there's a slight amount when you move the gun, but it's not bad. Let's put the gun away because we're going to need our hands. And let's pick up the barrel here and just move it out of the way. Even when you go to like teleport things to your hand or when you go to grab things in midair, it's right there. You're actually able to do it with ease. There is no perceivable latency that is anything to write home about. This actually plays really, really good. I got to say, I am thoroughly impressed with this thing playing wirelessly. Even the writing on the wall is very, very clear. And the textures on the walls and the boxes and the environment is really in depth for a wireless streaming setup. So if you have a PC VR setup or you have a lot of games in Steam VR, then this would be a very good option for you in order to uh, play PC VR games on your Oculus Quest. Half-Life Alex plays extremely well while streaming from the PC over to the Oculus Quest using virtual desktop. But this game is a little bit more slower paced and while there is a little bit of perceivable lag, it may not give you any issues while playing it via Wi-Fi. Now the game that might give you a little bit of issue would be a fast paced game like Beat Saber. So let's head over to Beat Saber and check that out and see how the lag is with that game. All right, so here we are inside of Beat Saber on a $100 bill on Expert. And this is going to be quite difficult to uh, play sitting down, especially in such close proximity to my microphone. But, you know, we're gonna do it and we're gonna have a little fun with it. We're gonna test out the latency anyway. And as you can see, I'm able to get these combos quite easily without missing a beat. Now watch that I said that, I'm going to miss something because I am playing like a T-Rex <laughs> right now. But this is insane to me. In order to play Beat Saber wirelessly, a fast-paced rhythm game without any latency and without any wires attached to my head and it not being on the Oculus Quest store. It's actually being the PC VR version of the game. This is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. I cannot recommend this enough to anybody who has a good streaming PC or a good setup that just wants to actually stream Beat Saber or any VR games that they want, PC VR titles, because, you know, they may have got them on sale on Steam or they may have gotten them somehow or had a Steam collection or uh, with a Vive or something like that. So this is a very good alternative in order to use a more modern headset uh, with your Steam VR without any cables. I gotta say, I am pretty impressed with this right now. I may have to be uh, playing Beat Saber on my PC VR setup like this instead. I just throw out my G2, why don't I? Just get rid of it. Don't need a G2. Cables? Who needs cables? We don't need any cables. But no, uh, seriously, the latency is non existent. This is absolutely clearly a fantastic way to play wirelessly with the Oculus Quest with the Steam VR library. As you can see, virtual desktop can give you a very smooth wireless PC VR experience that I know a lot of us have been wanting for quite some time. Now, while it's not free to download and use, to me, it is well worth the $19.99 price tag and it does come highly recommended. It does exactly what it's advertised to do. It streams your PC VR content to your Oculus Quest without the need for any wires or hookups or anything, and it does it exceptionally well. So if you've been on the fence about getting a virtual desktop and running it on your Oculus Quest, I would say do it. It's definitely a must buy. Now I have a question for all of you out there. What games do you want to see being streamed from the PC to the Oculus Quest using virtual desktop? Let us know down in the comment section below and maybe we'll do a video on just that. 
I hope you found this video useful and helpful in some way. And if you did, give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps out the channel. If you want to see even more content from For Love Games, check out one of the videos on the screen right now. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And until next time, guys, I'm Joshua For Love Games, signing out. Have a great day.